we want to evaluate the given definite integral. We have the integral of e raised to the power of two x integrated with respect to x from zero to two. So looking at the integration form is below, notice how our integral resembles where we have the integral of e to the u integrated with respect to u. But notice how in our case, because the exponent is not just x, when you integrate with respect to x, we'll have to perform u substitution or a change of variables. So we'll let u be equal to two x. Now that we have u equals two x, we need to find differential u, which is equal to the derivative of two x with respect to x times dx. So we'd have two times dx. We don't have a two dx in our integral, so now we'll divide both sides by two. Simplifying, we have one half du equals dx. Now we'll write our integral in terms of u, but because the limits of integration are for x, not u, for the next step, we will not include the limits of integration. So we'd have the integral of e raised to the power of, well, two x is equal to u, so we have e to the u, and now we know that dx is equal to one half du, so let's factor out the one half, and then we have our du. Now notice that it fits the integration formula perfectly. So the antiderivative is going to be one half e to the u, but u is two x, so in terms of x, the antiderivative is one half e to the two x. Now that we have the antiderivative in terms of x, we'll include our limits of integration again, which were from zero to two. So we'll first substitute two for x, so we'd have one half times e raised to the power of two times two minus e raised to the power of two times zero. So simplifying, we have one half times e to the fourth minus e to the zero is equal to one. So this is the exact value of our def integral, but let's also get our decimal approximation. So we'd have one half times the quantity e. So if we press second natural log, it brings up e raised to the power of, the exponent is four, right arrow, minus one, close parenthesis, and enter. To four decimal places, this would be approximately 26.7991. So we have the exact value and our decimal approximation. I do want to mention a couple more things. First, because we have a def integral, we can check this on the graphing calculator. So let's do that next. So we'll press math, arrow down to option nine for function integration. Press enter. First we enter the limits of integration, which are from zero to two. So zero, right arrow, two, right arrow. Now we enter the integrand function, which is e, so second natural log raised to the power of two x, so two x. A right arrow, right arrow again. We're integrating with respect to x, so we enter x and enter. And notice how this does verify our answer is correct. And then finally, our integrand function f of x equals e raised to the power of two x is non-negative on the closed interval from zero to two, which we can see here, and therefore the value of our def integral is the area under the curve and above the x-axis over this closed interval. I hope you found this helpful.